After almost 20 years, my bedroom was in need of a serious makeover. Welcome to episode one of my complete bedroom makeover. Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I thought I would start this video. This video is going to be happening over the next probably few months. I don't know how long that this process is gonna go, but today I'm making moves and I thought I would just get some before clips done before a lot more changes. So the video, if you're watching this, I have completed my room makeover. I have had my room like this since I was seven years old so I feel like it's time for a more grown-up refresh. I have over the years obviously changed things. I've changed like my bedding and I don't have the princess wallpaper anymore but I still have the pink and purple walls which you've probably seen in my videos if you've watched my videos. I'm going to be getting new bookshelves so that's really exciting because the one that I have right now I've had since I was a baby and I've just outgrown it a bigger one and I feel like it's just going to be more organized because I have books in the closet and then I also have books in the bookcase. I also got rid of the corner unit that used to be in my room. If you've watched some of my videos, I did sell that on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm gonna be putting that money towards my bookcase. I thought I would just show you some of the before. Okay, so as you walk into my room, this is the corner. That's where the corner unit used to be. And now it's nice and bare for Christmas. I actually put a Christmas tree in this corner because I had so much space. But anyways, this is where I'm thinking of putting the bookshelves. And then right here I have this CD holder. Right now, currently, I am cleaning it out. I'm not going to keep very many of my CDs because I don't listen to CDs anymore. I am just going to keep some of like the sentimental ones. Like I have all of the Taylor Swift CDs, so I'll just keep those. So I'm planning on taking this down. And then this is a essential oil holder. Don't know if I'm going to keep it. If I do, it might have to move to a different wall, but we'll figure that out. And here is my bookcase. Like I said, overflowing. And I also have this area right here with some of the books. It's a lot, but I feel like just having one big bookcase to put all of these books is just gonna make things so much nicer. Hello, it has been quite a few weeks since my last update, but now we're starting to get some things in motion. I am gonna be moving some of this furniture, specifically the two bookshelves. I will be selling these old bookshelves and getting some new ones, but I have to now move all of the books. I'm gonna temporarily set up this bookshelf in the living room until we get the room painted, and then we'll be able to go and pick up the bookshelves. It feels like it's been a long time coming. I've been having this plan for honestly a couple years. So I am just really excited to get this going and get everything painted and then start to get everything organized because I feel like I have a really hard time keeping it organized how it is because I've outgrown some of the furniture and specifically the bookshelves. So anyways, I am going to start packing up the books. I want you to stay, don't see why you can't I promise I'll wait, as long as I can, yeah Ooh. Ooh. I want you to know you're enough of a man Let's walk on the beach with our feet in the sand, yeah Your curves are infectious Is this a curse or a blessing? The way you make me feel got me stressing Play with my desire till you possess it Okay, so I just emptied the little bookcase And I just put them in those Rubbermaid containers So I'm just gonna keep them 
in the corner for now and we're gonna slide them out when the painting gets done and now I have to move this whole bookshelf as well so I have to take all the books out move the bookshelf into the living room let's get to it from far away she looks so good grew up in the same neighborhood and that's how to rub salt in the wound spend a few hours on the reservoir never broke a bone so i'm gonna try hard to prove you wrong that i'm not who i used to got it painted one of my mom's friends her husband came and painted it so he was here all weekend painting my room and I think it turned out great it's such a light lilac color that's very calming but very bright so I'm really happy with it this weekend I am going to be going to Ikea to finally get the bookshelf that is the thing that I am most excited about because I haven't been able to display my book. We obviously had to get this all painted. I do want to do an accent wall. I'll put like a inspiration picture up here. I asked my mom's friend's husband who painted if he does that kind of thing and he does. So eventually we'll get there. Probably won't be in this video. I think I'm going to make like a part two of those kind of like cosmetic additions. But the bookshelves in general and that like whole reveal is going to be in this video and I think I might just do like a separate video of like organizing the bookshelves but you'll see like a little sneak peek from that but I'm really happy with it like I've said before I think I've said this earlier in the video but I haven't had my room painted since we actually moved upstairs we used to live downstairs when I was really young but when I was seven we switched to the upstairs I had my room painted and so it's been almost almost 20 years oh my gosh that's like actually wild yeah that is the wow okay anyways so it did definitely need a refresh we also got the ceilings painted too and it looks just like really nice 
Oh, the other thing I wanted to say too is I am also going to be reorganizing my closet. So I'm pretty sure that part will be in this video. And then my dresser, which currently my camera is resting on. I'm thinking of switching it out because this is a dresser that I've had since I was a baby and it's been very functional, very well loved, but it's massive and I really want my room to have that like library feel and like to have my bookshelves and I want my bookshelves to be able to be combined because originally I was thinking of putting one in this corner like beside the dresser and then one where I had the old bookshelf but I think it would just be nice if it was like all cohesive and I do have another dresser that I had purchased when I moved away and I was living in an apartment in undergrad and I still have that it's in my mom's room kind of just as storage but she said I can have it back and it's a lot smaller so I'll show you what my idea is so this is the huge massive dresser so in here is like all my clothes and then in here it's just kind of like extra like shower products candles that kind of stuff but i'm thinking of in my closet i have all of these shelves that originally i had been using as my overflow for my book but since i'm getting my bookshelves i'm going to get some baskets for each of these little cubbies i'm going to like organize that stuff in there so that's not a problem so right now this is right here but this is the wall that i want to have my bookshelves on and then over here used to be where the other bookshelf was the very small one and this is going to fit the other dresser that's in my mom's room currently i'll sh Put a picture up on the screen of what it is it basically matches this nightstand that i have so i think it'll just look a lot nicer i was saying to my mom yesterday evening when i was laying in bed we also got my like trimming and that kind of stuff repainted like all of like the whites like even my doors of my closet and i don't know if you can really tell on camera but this is coming up yellow and that's obviously from years and years of use so that's another reason the other one's just gonna look a lot cleaner and take up less space so that's the goal this little mini fridge we usually keep in this corner i had this mini fridge when i was away and we've just kept it to like store some extra food so that's the update for now. I do have a very busy week for school this week. I have an exam tomorrow. I have clinic, lots of stuff going on, but I'm really excited for the weekend because that's the part that I've been waiting months for.
shelf number two. It's the next day. I finished building all three of the bookshelves. So I actually got two of the larger Billy bookcases from Ikea. And then I got the smaller one to put in the middle. So I'll show you that in a second. But I'm really tired. I built them all myself, which I'm pretty proud of myself. And my godfather, he just dropped by because he's going to come back later today and anchor them to the wall. So that's why they don't have any shelves right now. So he's going to do that. And then we have the ladder in here. So I'll do a little overview. Godfather just left. He mounted, anchored the bookcases so they're nice and secure. And I also forgot to mention that yesterday, shout out to my uncle, he came to IKEA and brought his big SUV truck because the boxes would not fit in my car. Very thankful that he was able to come and help us out and he also helped my mom carry the big heavy boxes into the house so it has been a team effort. Now I get to do the fun part. I'm going to finally put the shelves in and then we'll get to the books. Which again I think I might do a separate video specifically for organizing but I'll do just like a bit of like an overview clip. And the only appropriate playlist to do this is Taylor Swift. Seventeen, we're growing up, sneaking red wine in a paper cup. We saw the world so differently. Talk about things we never be. Seventeen was still so young, waiting outside for you to pick me up. Driving so fast we couldn't. So it's been a few days since we last spoke. I finished all the bookshelves, got everything on the bookshelves. When I was simultaneously doing that, I was kind of getting my closet organized. So it's looking a lot better a lot cleaner i think i mentioned that i got some of those like collapsible like organizing cubes from ikea unfortunately i did not measure the cubby holes that i have in my closet before going to ikea so i thought that they were just gonna fit because i believe this is from ikea this like built-in but from like a really really long time ago when i moved up here 20 years ago so i don't know why i thought it'd be like the same size but it wasn't it was, they were too big but the good news is i can use them up top here. I have some keepsakes up there and stuff that I don't really reach for on a daily basis so I like how it's all hidden and it just looks really simple and clean. I went on Amazon and I actually ordered a pack of six which I needed six which so it worked out perfectly of these purple collapsible bins and they're pretty deep and it's not the exact same shade as my room but I like that it's a little bit deeper because it gives the room when my closet's open a little bit more color but it's in the same scheme if that makes sense 
So I liked how these ones look. So I've just been organizing these slowly and kind of doing some spring cleaning as I go. I am trying not to have too much on the bottom of my closet like I used to have. So it just looks clean and simple. I have this extra clothing rod on this side that I never utilized before because I wasn't really maximizing the storage space and I think it just looks really nice and clean and I just feel this like sense of calm coming into my room. I could never seem to keep it 100% organized because I just wasn't maximizing my space and now I just feel like everything is just going to have its spot and I have my room finally how I want it to be and that's just a really good feeling. So we finally have the bookshelves up, we have the closet semi-organized. It's still a bit of a work in progress but it's a lot better than before. So all that's left to do is some of the cosmetic things like a new comforter. Um, also I mentioned earlier doing an accent wall at some point. Another thing is we were able to move the mini fridge that I had in my room somewhere else so now it's not in my room so I have more space which is great and I also decided what I wanted to do in that corner that had the little mini fridge so I'll show you that. So this is the corner that the mini fridge was in. I didn't have anywhere to put my wax melts and my diffuser. They used to be on my old dresser and there was an outlet there but where my new dresser is there is no outlet so I had to come up with a creative alternative. I do have one bedside table with some drawers in it. I'll put a picture up here. And I am actually going to get a second one so I can put both of these on that. And it'll look a lot nicer than this little fold-up table, but this is what we have right now. And then I'm going to hide the cords behind the bed. I got a different extension cord. And then I'll have like the two drawers to organize my essential oils because I didn't put that essential oil holder back up and my wax melts and that kind of stuff and little like extra bits in those drawers. They're pretty deep drawers so that's the plan. So that part will be in part two and I'm not sure when that's going to be uploaded. The next video that you'll see is this whole setup, which I'm very happy with. I'm still rearranging books, but I just think it looks so beautiful. So that'll be the next video, but shall we do a reveal? Let's do a before and after. Just lost my mind Now I'm losing time Can't sleep at night So cold, baby You say you love me, then you hate me How do I let it happen? You build me up and tear me into tiny pieces Every single time You've got me all tied up You've got your hands around my throat You've got me in over my head I'm drowning in the undertow I've got my fingers crossed I'm begging, baby, let me go You've got this captivating touch That's got me coming back for more So I think it looks so fresh, so clean, and I'm just really happy with it. It just feels so inviting, and I just love how it turned out, and I can't wait to see the little cosmetic things, the little add-ons that I will be doing in the near future. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the bookshelf organization video and then the next video in this series. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.